given the transmissibility of BA2 and the increase in contacts as people resume their normal routines. That being said, we are so far not seeing any large impact in terms of severe outcomes. The arrival of the Easter holiday weekend brings the challenge of families trying to balance celebrating in large groups while staying aware of each person's personal health status. So if you're going to get gather, just make sure you're vaccinated and safe. And if you're immune compromised, don't go out pretty much. From the week of April 5th to 11th, Alberta has over 552,000 active cases. 1,053 people are in hospital, with 48 of those patients being treated in intensive care units. Alberta's total death count is now at 4,141. Many people are taking the opportunity of the extra time off to head out of the city. For those traveling by plane, some restrictions still are in place, and that's making some travelers feel safer. I feel like a lot safer, and like I feel like because of all the COVID protocols, people are also like super like make sure you wash your hands and everything. So I feel like the whole environment's a lot cleaner now, which I feel like just makes everything a little bit better. The continued use of masks on airlines is also welcomed. Which I'm still kind of glad that they're enforcing masks because of that, because it's like, oh yeah, um, I had COVID and I was on a plane with like 200 other people.